close your eyes and watch your breath. Take a couple of good long, deep in and up breaths and see how it feels. If it feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. You're trying to create a sense of ease here in the present moment, so you get to choose whatever kind of breathing feels right right now. And you may find that something feels good for a while, but then it doesn't feel good, well, you can change again. Keep adjusting things so that it feels easy to stay here in the present moment. There's a sense of spaciousness, a sense of, sense of well-being. Because we need this source of inner strength to deal with all the difficulties that come from outside. This is how we develop our powers of endurance, is to have something where you're not just gritting your teeth and enduring, but you've actually got a comfortable place to look at the difficulties and say, well, there are the difficulties there, but they're not coming in and reaching and hitting me. When you can think in those ways, then you're really well off, because you need not only a sense of well-being, but you also need some wisdom. You need some discernment in order to see that the things that are difficult outside don't have to weigh you down. The Buddha talks about two things in particular. One is painful feelings, and the other is hurtful words. With painful feelings, you have to learn, okay, the feeling is there, but the awareness is here. You don't have to get involved. It doesn't have to come and make inroads on you. And the same with hurtful world, words. When people say nasty things, we don't just simply think, well, there's an unpleasant sound and leave it at that. We wonder, well, why is that person thinking nasty thoughts about me? Why? That's not fair. And we go on and on and on. It's like taking an arrow and stabbing ourselves with it again and again and again. So the trick is not to stab yourself. The painful feeling comes, or the hurtful words come, okay, they're just there. You don't have to make up stories about them, about how wrong they are or whatever, okay, it's just there and you've learned a lesson. If someone says something critical, you take and look at yourself, okay, is what they say true? If it's true, then you've learned a lesson. You actually have to thank that person for having pointed out something where you were wrong. But if it turns out that the other person is wrong, okay, then you've learned a lesson about that person. Okay, This is the kind of person you're dealing with. In other words, you take it as an opportunity to learn lessons. In the meantime, though, you want to make sure you're not stabbing yourself over these things. So try to create a sense of well-being right here, and use your discernment as your protection. And John Mahabur once complained about people coming to him and asking him, what's the easy way to put a lot of effort into the practice, or what's an easy way to develop your powers of endurance? He says, well, the whole point is that it's not easy. We can't make it easy, but you can make it easier by developing the sense of well-being inside and that you can tap into whenever you need it. So that when the weather gets hot, or there are pains in the body, or the atmosphere around you is pretty bad in terms of what people are saying and thinking about each other, okay, learn how to pull yourself out. You stay right here. Don't let yourself get invaded by their, their thoughts and their words. And be especially careful about the stories you tell yourself about these things. What's wrong with that person? What's wrong with this person? Why are these things this way? Why is it that way? Sometimes things are just that way. Other times, okay, they did have a bad intention, but if you stab yourself with their bad intention, that doesn't help things at all. They have a mind, they can think anything they want. They have a mouth, they can say anything they want. And it's up to you to realize, okay, you don't have to suffer from those things. You can get yourself out of the way. Think of it as someone shooting bullets, okay? If you put yourself in the line of fire, of course you're going to get hurt. You put, put yourself out of the line of fire, you say, oh, that's that person's karma. They said that, okay, um, accept the fact, but don't think that it's pointed at you. Even though they may be aiming at you, you don't have to stand right there and let them shoot you. You can step out of the way. And that way you find it a lot easier to live in the world and a lot easier to develop your powers of endurance. You can put up with a lot of difficult things that otherwise you couldn't have because you've developed a sense of solid well-being inside, that nothing outside has to touch and nothing outside has to invade. When the invasion comes, it's usually because you've opened the doors and let them in. So figure some way, okay, you know they're there, but you don't have to let them inside. That way you can endure lots of things that before you couldn't endure at all. <laughs>